This is my JJRC JJ1000. I got it on a Dreamcatcher frame from Micromotor Warehouse. Um, so I've done a couple things to it that's not stock, obviously, the frame. And as well as the motors, I have uh, eight millimeter Hubson motors on here. And I believe the stock motors are seven millimeter. So it's got a little bit more power. Um, I put this little clover leaf antenna on here. It's just for the range and it helps quite a lot. It goes really far, farther than I even want it to go. I don't even really need it on there, but it looks cool. So anyway, I'm using a 600 milliamp nanotech because it's my favorite battery. It's awesome. And uh, I'll do a little kitchen flight. thing I hate most about the JJ1000 is the transmitter and I'm pretty sure if you have a Devo 7E that's modded you can fly this with it I mean you can fly almost any quad with a modded Devo but uh, that's one thing I would do for sure I mean I would love this quad so much more if I had a Devo 7E because this stock transmitter just sucks so bad I mean it has some type of seems like positive expo which just makes it horrible to fly I hate positive expo if anything I use negative expo but it makes it really hard to fly another thing is with the stock transmitter uh, there's three rates you got low medium and high and you can tell by the beeps there's low medium high on high rates it's constantly in flip mode so uh, you fly around and then if you want to do a flip you just give input to the direction you want to flip and that kinda sucks because on high rates is where it has the fastest yaw so I want to fly in fly rate, high rates but I don't want to flip all the time so I'll be flying and then I'll go to turn or something and then all of a sudden it's doing a flip so that's not good but if you use like a I know the WL Toys um, V2X2 transmitter will fly this and it does get rid of that problem where you can fly, actually fly in high rates and not worry about it flipping. <clears throat> or a uh, Mata Devo 7. So, anyway, so that's why I don't really fly this quad a whole lot. Just because of the transmitter. So I'm just kind of saving it hoping that one day I can get a better transmitter for it but anyway so I basically got to fly in medium rates and the yaw in medium is basically the same as a Sima X11 or any Sima quad for that matter but check it out there's the yaw and then here's the yaw in high rates now that's a decent yaw but I can't fly in high rates because I'll end up doing flips you can if you don't give full input but eventually you end up giving full input just on accident And you're constantly having to worry about if you're going to make it flip or not, you know, so it just doesn't work. Oh, shit. Also, sometimes when you do a flip, it comes flying back the way that you flipped. It's kind of weird. But it's not a big deal if you're in an open space.
I was just trying to come back and fucking just did a flip instead. You basically got to use a bank turn to be able to fly in a small space and medium rates. It's the only way. You can turn the LEDs off by holding down the flip button. Calibrate the accelerometers by pulling both sticks down to the left only in high rates. And then there is a flip button that you just push and it'll do a flip. I guess just a forward flip. It does give itself throttle just before the flip, so if you're flying indoors, make sure you're not close to the ceiling when you push it. There's just no room in here for this thing. Come on. There we go. I got these rubber bands on here on each corner to kind of clamp down on the motor so it doesn't move as easy but still in a hard crash they'll come out but that's okay it's better than the frame breaking so there you have it